Travis Scott is dissing Timothy Chalamet, a Cardi B mic throwing incident just took an unexpected turn, and Dua Lipa's been hit with another lawsuit. First up, Pinky Doll is set to release her debut song, Ice Cream So Good. Yep, you heard that right. The viral NPC TikToker will soon be entering her musician era thanks to a collab with clothing brand Fashion Nova. We definitely didn't have this on our 2023 bingo card. It's a great time to work for Taylor Swift as she's just given her tour staff $55 million in bonuses. Everyone from the caterers to the dancers has reportedly received a big bonus, with the era's tour truckers alone getting 100k and a handwritten note each. Now that's some wholesome tea. The Stormzy effect is sweeping Cambridge University. The rapper has pledged to support a further 36 black students studying at Cambridge over the next three years. Since the Stormzy scholarships first launched in 2018, Cambridge University has seen a rise in applications from UK black students, with the number of students admitted to undergraduate courses more than doubling in the four years up to 2022. We love to see it. Move over Barbie because Bratz has just launched its first ever celebrity collab. Inspired by Kylie Jenner, the new collection features some of her most iconic looks, including two of her Met Gala fits. You can also buy a mini version of the black gown and diamond headpiece combo she wore to the recent opening of the Thierry Mugler Brooklyn Museum exhibit. Speaking of Kylie, did her ex Travis Scott just shade Timothy Chalamet? So fans are convinced that the Willy Wonka reference in Travis's new song, Meltdown, is a little dig at incoming Wonka actor Timmy C. And in other Timothy news, it was rumoured that he and Kylie broke up last week. But don't worry, this has since been debunked. Lizzo has denied allegations of sexual harassment made by three of her former dancers. The dancers filed a lawsuit claiming that Lizzo sexually harassed them and created a hostile working environment. In a statement shared to her socials, Lizzo described the situation as overwhelmingly disappointing, adding that she was only speaking out about these false allegations and sensationalised stories because they were too outrageous not to be addressed. Obviously, there's a lot to unpack here, so we'll keep it brewing for now. Dua Lipa is facing her third lawsuit over one of her most iconic tracks. The multi-million dollar copyright claim alleges that Dua unlawfully used musician Bosco Kante's talk box recording in remixes of Levitating. Apparently, she only had permission to use the recording in the original version of the song. So let's watch this space for now. Zendaya has paid tribute to Euphoria co-star Angus Cloud, but not before being hounded by people asking why she hadn't posted sooner. She says she was grateful to have gotten the chance to know him, adding that he was the best at lighting up any room he entered. She also touched on grief policing in her post, reminding fans to be kind and patient as grief looks different for everyone. Now for our hottest tea of the week, and we need to talk about the whole Cardi B mic throwing situation. In case you missed it, a fan threw their drink at Cardi B while she was performing on stage, and Cardi retaliated by throwing her microphone at them. Well, Cardi was reported to the police for battery, however, she has been cleared following an investigation. And the plot just keeps thickening, as Cardi's mic is now up for auction on eBay. Bidding is already nearing 100k, with the seller promising that all proceeds will go to charity. Anyway, that's it for today. See you next time for a splash more curiosity.